Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful giant snowflake bracelet or frosty snowflake bracelet, whatever you like. First I'm gonna show you the center and then the chain. So if you're new here, it's a good idea to subscribe and check out my next upcoming videos and have a new fresh ideas for Christmas, for other holidays and for everyday projects. If you want to support me and make me do more videos, please like, share and comment and I promise I will answer to all of you that have any questions concerning my tutorials. And if you make beautiful jewelry, share your, the pictures of them on my Facebook page and there you will see what uh, other beading friends from YouTube did following my tutorials. Ok, uh, so let me stop talking and start with the list of the materials. Ok, and for this project what you're going to need are twin beads of two colors, I use white and blue, and 11 no seed beads of two colors, again white and blue, and here I use 8 o white beads. And of course for my bracelet I'm going to need a clasp, and I'm using beading needle size 10, scissors, uh, I use monofilament for tutorial purposes, I want my thread to be clear for this project, you will see why. And I'm using my flat nose pliers to squeeze my thread to go through size 10 beading needle and to attach my clasp. And now I'm going to start by taking an arm span of thread and putting it on my size 10 beading needle. Ok, and I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to start by uh, taking eight twin beads and I'm going to alterate them white and blue. And I have my eight on my needle and I was alterating them white blue white blue and I did four times. Okay now I will stick my needle in my mouth and after that I'm going to slide down my beads and I'm going to make a knot here at the end. And I'm gonna do this by making a surgeon's knot. So I'm making a loop and I'm going with my tail thread twice through that loop. And then I will make sure that my thread is between the two beads where I, uh, my knot is between the two beads where I started it from. And then I'm going to pull. Okay, like that. And now I have this. Ok, now I will take my needle and I will start making my the center of my bracelet, which will represent a snowflake. A big snowflake, ok? Now I'm going, I'm exiting from this inside hole of the twin and I'm going to flip my work because it's easier for me to work in this direction. And as I'm exiting from the inside hole of this twin here, I will also exit from the outside hole of the same twin. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to take one of my eight holes and I'm going through the outside empty hole of the next twin bead. Then I'm going to take one more and I'm going through the next empty hole of the, of the twin after that. And this is my tail thread, it's a good idea to get rid of it. Ok, now I'm taking my next eto and I'm going through the next one. Then I'm taking one more and guys I will continue this until I have a full row and when I'm ready I'll be back to show you how we continue. Ok, and now I'm adding my last 8 -0. Ok, and I have this and now what I'm going to start is take two of these beautiful blue twins and go through the next eight hole. Ok, 
okay now this is what I have now I'm going to take two more I have them on my needle and I'm going to the next eight -hole. and pull tight okay then I need two more and I'm going to the next eight -hole. and I will continue this until the end of this roll okay and now I'm adding my last two twins and I'm pulling and now I have this guys okay now what I want to do is exit from those two blue twins that are next to my 8 hole and now guys pay attention it's easier for me to flip my work because I'm right-handed and prefer to work in this direction and as I'm exiting from this bead here I will go through the outer empty hole of the next one and when I pull I have this now I'm going to start adding my next row and for my next row I need white twin bead and when I pull I have this now I need one white 11 0 I have it on my needle and I'm going through the next empty hole of my next blue twin now I need white twin and I'm going through the next blue one you could use super dual beads in this um, model okay and I have one 11 0 and I'm going through the next twin then one more and going through the next blue twin and then I need one 11 0 and I'm pulling pay attention that my twin I'm adding between those two blues that are above this white uh, twin and this seed bead here I'm adding above this uh, uh, white 8 0 and I'm gonna continue doing this until the end of my row and I'll be back to show you how we continue okay guys and I'm back and I'm here where I'm adding my last 11 0 and my element is almost ready now what I do next is that I go through this twin here through its down hole that is closest to the center and now I will take one 11 0 in blue I will slide it down then I will go through it through these twins outer empty hole and I'm pulling then I need one more 11 0 here it is and I'm going through the inside hole of this twin only through the twin okay so now I have this now guys I will go through this first blue 11 0 we added and I'm going through it and I'm pulling okay now this is what I have and here I need to add three more blue seed beads and I'm going through this blue twin as well that is from the other side of my 
a blue seed bead island that is from the other side of my twin sorry for that and now I have this okay now I'm going to exit again from this white bead here and if you can go with one movement to the next uh, white twin okay now what I need to take here is one 11 0 and I'm taking it and I'm going through this white twin again okay then I will take one more blue 11 now and I'm going through the bottom hole through the inside hole of this twin and I'm pulling now I have the same thing I did before now I'm going through this blue 11 now like that and now what I need are three blue 11 ohms and I'm going through the other 11 ohm okay and then I'm going through the blue one and if you can exit right here at the next win uh, if it's not possible do it in two or three movements it doesn't matter okay and now guys continue what we did here and here until the end of this snowflake and I will be back to show you how we continue okay guys and now I'm adding my last three beads I did everything the same way I showed you before so now I'm, I want to reach my next white twin bead. Okay. I'm going through here and I'm exiting here, sorry, at my next white twin. Okay. Now I'm going to go through those two seed beads here. Okay. Now I will show you how I'm making the rest part of my bracelet, the chain of the bracelet. Okay, and I have one white twin on my needle. I'm sliding it down and I'm going through its other hole. So first I went through this hole. And now I'm going through its other hole. Okay, and I'm pulling it next to this blue bead here. Okay, and I need one more white bead. And I'm sliding it down. And I'm also gonna go through its other hole. And then I'm going also through these next two blue seed beads and I'm going to pull okay so now I have this I'm going to turn my work the way it's easier for me and I will go down through this inner hole of my white twin here okay and I fixed my thread off camera and when I pulled I have this Okay, now I will go again through those two white, two blue seed beads and then through the white twin again. And I'm pulling my thread. And now this is what I have. Now I'm going to go through those two white twins. Okay, now this is what I have. Okay, and now I'm going to take one more white twin. And I will slide it down like that. Then I'm going through its empty hole, through its other empty hole, like that. So from here to here. 
Now I'm taking one more white twin, I'm sliding it down next to this one and now I'm going through its empty hole and through the hole of my previous white twin bead and I pull. And this is why I need clear thread for this project. You see, because my thread is showing on the surface of my beads on the outside, okay? Now I'm going also through this twin and through the next one. Okay, just like that. Then I will go again through those two twins and what I need next is one more twin bead. I'm sliding it down, going through its empty hole Okay, and I'm pulling it to this bead here. Then I need one more white twin. I'm sliding it down and I'm going through its empty hole and through the hole of my previous twin. Okay, then what I need to do is also go through the hole of this twin next to it. Okay? And I'm also gonna go through the hole of this one here. Okay? Now I'm going again through these two twin beads and I'm gonna continue these guys and I will make 20 rows like this and then I will do this from the other side. I'll just take a new thread and new needle. I will make a knot here. I will cut my tail thread and I will continue making the same thing from here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you that. Okay, I'll finish this later and now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing from this side. And here I'm gonna make a knot by going between two beads, making a loop and then going once and going twice through that loop and I'm going to pull. Then you could repeat this thing several more times and then go out through those two twins, through the blue one and through the white one as well. Okay, like this. And then I will flip my work because it's easier. Now I'm going to go through those two blue 11 O's. And as I have this, um, as I have a, a new thread here, I'm going to start making the same thing from that side. So I will take one, just to remind you, the first row, I'm taking one white twin. I'm going through its other hole like that. Then I'm taking new twin. I'm sliding it down. I'm going through its other hole and I'm going through those two blue seed beads here. Just like that. And I'm pulling. Okay, pull tight, okay. Now what I do is go again through this white twin here, just like that.
okay this one got stuck but i will fix it now i will go through those two blue beads here and when i pull i have this now i'm going through this white bead here and then i'm going through those two white twin beads and now guys i'm gonna continue this from this side i will have 20 and from this side i will have 20 as well and i'll be back to show you how i finish my bracelet okay guys and now my bracelet is almost over i did 20 elements from here and 20 from here uh, 20 rows i mean the um the twins are 40 so now i will finish my bracelet so i will take three seed beads from here and i will take my clasp like that and i'm gonna slide it down now i want to take three more seed beads and i'm going back through those twin here and when i pull i have this now guys i'm going to reinforce this three more times and i'll be back to show you how i make my knots okay and i reinforce this joint here several more times and i'm making a knot by going between two beads and making a loop then i'm going once and i'm going twice through that loop and i'm pulling okay and now guys i'm gonna finish the other part of my bracelet but i will make only a loop of six beads here without adding anything i'll do this and i'll be back to show you how we continue okay and i made a loop of beads here i reinforced it i made my knots like i showed you and now i will cut my thread this is from the opposite side of my bracelet and now guys you could close it like this but i prefer to put a jump ring and now i'm gonna show you how i put it okay and for the jump ring i take my two pair of pliers and i open up my jump ring I'm taking my bracelet and I'm putting the jump ring here on this beautiful loop of beads and I'm closing it back. And now guys, my snowflake bracelet is ready. It's a frosty snowflake, giant snowflake bracelet. If you like it, it's a good idea to subscribe and see even more uh, videos like this. I will provide you with new and fresh ideas for Christmas, for everyday projects and for other holidays. Uh, okay, so if you want to support me and make me do more videos, please like, share and comment and I promise I will answer to all of you that comment and have any questions. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page. And you will see how many people make beautiful stuff following my videos there, I mean, on Facebook. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.